So it was you who made those odd sounding noises. I have been wondering what disturbed this peaceful forest so late at night. What's the matter, sweetheart? Why is your face all wet? Is it important who I am? Or where I came from? I disagree. Why are you so distressed? Oh, please. I am only reaching out my hand to help you, not to scare you away. What would be the point in that? Come on. My hands at least don't bite. <laughs> oh, it's been tears that made your face glisten in the moonlight. Why are you crying all alone in the darkness of the night? Oh, I see. Well, there's no reason to lose hope because of that. How about this offer? I take you to my mansion, and you can sit by the warm fire, wrapped up in a blanket, with a warm drink, or maybe a good wine if you would like, and you can take a couple of calm breaths, until you feel better. Does that sound like something that would help? Mm, I get that we are strangers, but do I look like I mean any harm? Have you ever met a wealthy looking woman that robbed you? <laughs> oh, that's not what you're concerned about. Tell me, what would I plan to do to a man like you, huh? Do you think I would try anything silly? Anything bad? No, no, no. I'm not a person who is interested in violence. I am just a mere lady helping someone who is lost and sad. I have a good heart, you'll see. May I offer you my hand, young gentleman? Would you like to come to my residence with me? Strange rumors have been going around. About what? <laughs> Vampires amongst townspeople. Would you truly believe in those stories they tell children to go to bed in time? Or are you truly scared of having your blood sucked out of your body? Sharp teeth piercing your skin to lick the warm liquid from your veins. I'm just messing with you. There's no need to be afraid of stories. Stories can't hurt you. Now, please, my dear. I cannot leave you out in the cold, crying your heart out. If you are hungry, we can have a midnight meal together. I have some talented chefs working in my kitchen. This is a once-in-a-lifetime chance. You should take it while it lasts. I assume you are one of the townspeople yourself. I bet I can surprise you with the taste of my kitchen's creations. First and foremost, my guests usually come back for the food I serve them. My company, so I believe, is only second place. <laughs> now... Could I change your mind? There's no need to fear. I promise you. There. Look into my eyes. Look deeply into my eyes. There's nothing to be afraid of. These eyes don't lie. You cannot see a glimpse of uncertainty in them. You can trust my words. I mean no harm. <laughs> my name is Lady D. Let me take you to my mansion, handsome. There you go. It is not far from here. In fact, I heard your sobbing from my garden. 
and I decided to see what was singing along with the wind between the leaves and the crickets chirping. <laughs> I was in my garden at that time because I like to be around my roses at night. I love to see the petals shine in the moonlight and watch the stars sparkle up in the sky. Framing my magnificent garden by thousands of tiny fragments of light. There's beauty within the night most sleep through. I find that so sad. It is like a painting outside of your window. A painting you can step inside. The air smells different at night as well. It is cold and clean. It is fresh and light, calming and yet rich at the same time. I'm sure you will like my garden. It is right behind that middle gate. Welcome to my residence. Make yourself at home. <sighs> Look up. Do you see? The full moon is out. You can clearly see its entirety. I am truly fascinated by the moon. In fact, I was almost born on a full moon night. I just missed it by a day. And I have a feeling you cannot look away yourself. <laughs> see? I caught you. Let it entrance you, the moonlight. The reflection in my eyes, now being reflected in yours. It is truly beautiful. I have some stories about the full moon you might be interested in. Those have been told among my family and our close friends for generations now. One is good, and one terrifying. I am sure you have heard about fragments of those stories yourself, stitched into other tales of different origin, deformed into a new idea, a new concept, a lie. Does this sound familiar to you? The sight of a full moon turning humans into creatures? Nothing but fairy tales. Truth turned into scary fun for children and adults alike. Say what you care about the origin behind those stories. The reality of the irrational fear. Come closer. I shall tell you. Did you know it is the vampire that is cursed by the moon? <laughs> Tasting blood in the moonlight causes some of them to lose their mind. That is when the hunting begins. And they tear apart anything that is breathing, sucking out its life until nothing is left behind. More of the addictive liquid only makes it worse. Unable to stop themselves, they kill and slaughter, attacking each other until they are finally satisfied. Blood dripping down their chin, mouths filled with a taste of sugar and iron, a satisfied hunger. Unconscious bodies of merciless killers lying in the morning dew grass until the blue night finally turns to dawn. This is the I 
told you not to be afraid of stories, little lamb. I never said not to be aware of vampires biting your flesh. <laughs> oh, silly boy. Only a few of us are made to kill. Most are only looking to feed themselves. Entrancing little prey like you, walking too close to the predator's den. And that in a night like this, when the moonlight reflected in my eyes messes with your mind, making you fall for my trap, making you unable to move, run away, or hide. All you are left to do is stare into my eyes. Longingly hoping for the pain to stop Until the sweet release seeps through your burning body Turning pain to lust and desire Blood drawn from your face but your cheeks are still burning hot Your muscles are tensing, your breath quickening What do you want this vampire to do to you? Unable to speak, words caught in your throat. I think I know the answer. You want to be touched. You want to be bitten. You want your body to be messed with and your mind to go blank. You want to experience pleasure of an a beautiful woman breaking you. You taste so sweet. I could bite so much more than just your neck. Pierce your body and leave my marks for everyone to see. Just for them to vanish by sunrise. So no one will believe your words about the night a vampire took your mind and sanity. It's a shame. Your experiences will be nothing but another story they tell to scare each other. Until one day, the next little lamb comes walking down my hunting ground, falling for the same silly trick. And maybe, just maybe, this little lamb is you, searching for me, coming for more, asking to be bitten, wanting to be messed with, and I will gladly offer my hand again, guiding you into the moonlight. Taking your will to say no away from you. Leaving you with desperation and lust. You will look into my eyes again. Just like right in this moment. And you will force yourself to mutter the words. Please take me. And I will suck you dry.